into sitting stance, double punch. And up. Double punch. Do. Set. Net. Single punch. And up. Double punch. Do. Set. Net. Single punch. And up. Double punch. Do. Set. Net. Single punch. And up. Double punch. Do. Set. Net. Barrel. We're going to jab. First of all, we're just going to jab off the front hand. So whichever leg is forward, this is our jab, our front hand punch. Call the jab. Okay, so boxers use a jab to find their distance and then knock out using their cross when we punch across because there's a bit of rotation of the body to knock your opponent out. Okay, so we're just going to jab to start. Ready, jab. Jab, jab. Okay, has everyone got the jab? Okay, now, after the jab, we're gonna add a cross. So we jab, and then cross. Okay, are you ready? Got up, jab, cross. Very good. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Very good. Okay. Now, we're going to do the whole thing again. So we do jab cross, jab cross. Okay. Guard up. Ready. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Okay. Four punches in a row. Ready. Go. Jab cross, jab cross. Good. And again. Jab cross, jab cross. Good. Go. Jab cross, jab cross. Last one. Ready. Jab cross. Jab cross. Okay. Now, this time we're going to do our four punches. So our jab, cross, jab, cross, and then duck. When we duck, make sure your back stays straight. You keep your eyes on your opponent. Okay. Are you ready? Jab cross. Jab cross. Duck. And again, jab cross, jab cross, duck. Jab cross, jab cross, duck. Ready, go. Jab cross, jab cross, duck. Okay, now we're gonna do jab cross, jab cross, duck, and then jab cross again. Okay, are you ready? Jab cross. Jab cross, duck, jab cross. Very good. We're going to do four more. Ready? One. Jab cross, jab cross, duck, jab cross. Two. Jab cross, jab cross, duck, jab cross. Three. Jab cross, jab cross, duck, jab cross. Ready? Four. Jab cross, jab cross, duck, jab cross. Double reverse cycle. Remember with a reverse cycle, you turn backwards, lift the knee, and kick straight. So with a double, we do exactly the same, but we must move the knee forwards and backwards to do the second kick. You can hop forwards with the second of our reverse side kicks. Okay, so kick, hop, kick. So this is a double reverse side kick, but it could easily be called reverse side kick, side kick. Okay? Because there's no turn on the second kick. So it's more accurate to call it reverse side kick, side kick. 
If you want to think about it that way, if it makes it a little bit easier to think about, just call it that. Okay, so we're going to do two each time. Ready? We're going to do it ten times. Hold up! Middle and high, all the better. Set. Net. Dust. Yast. Ego. Front leg, double side kick. So from the garden lock position, we want to lift the leg and kick twice, hopping towards your target as you do. Okay. So kicking off the front leg, double side kick. Remember to turn the foot over so you're kicking with the edge of the foot. So we're here, kick, hop, and as we hop, do the second kick going forwards. Okay, ready? Guard up, front leg, double side kick in my time. Hut up! Very good. Go! If you can kick at two different heights, please do. Set! Very good. Change over to the other side. Are you ready? Four kicks, double side kick. Hold up! A bit quicker, that includes me. Go! Set! Net! Change back to the first leg. Now, I'm going to do it again, but remember, try not to move this back foot first. Sometimes even I do it. If you don't move the back foot first, just lift the leg and then hop towards the target. Are you ready? Guard up, double side kick. And up! This kick is especially good in sparring. Go! Turning kicks, front leg, 
then back leg. Higher in. Guard up. So, two kicks. First off the front leg, then off the back leg. And up. Oh! 
your front foot is facing forwards, your back foot, 70% of your weight is on the back foot. As you bring your foot, front foot back, it should bump into the heel or just come past the heel of the other foot. They are 90 degrees perpendicular to each other. So 70, 30, um, make the cross in front of the body, rotate around, make sure the fist becomes a knife hand on the way, make sure your fingers are closely tight together as you do your other hand, back to the hip each time. Sorry, I'm going to do another one. Okay. So, what do you mean? So, step your right leg back into walking stance, low. Hold up. Step forwards from there. Knife hand strike in the L stance. Ready. Hold up. As 
we step forward, our fists should be level with the temple. Fists nice and tight, closed the whole time. Truly. Step your right leg back. Look. Feel more stance. Hold up. Step forwards, back fist side stretch, in walking stance. Hold up. Go. Set. Net. Hold up. Go. Set. Dosa, 24 minutes. Remember, if you don't know this pattern, just do the highest pattern you know or the pattern for your grade. In your own time. See, shut. Well done everyone, now we're just going to finish off with a little bit of stretching. So I just want you to push, push your legs out as wide as you can out to the side. Try and keep your feet facing forwards the whole time. And remember, your heels need to stay in line with your hips. So it's like a straight line from your heel through your hips and out to the other heel. Just push your legs out as wide as you can. Try and keep your body upright, upright as what as upright as you can until you need to put your hands down on the floor. Now, once your hands are on the floor, okay, just take some of the weight onto your hands and then let it all go back through your hips again. <clears throat> once the weight's through your hips, you'll You'll feel the stretch through your hips, and this means that your stretch is being pushed and developed. Okay, so if it's painful, okay, just do it for a few seconds and then take the weight back onto your hands again, and then let it go back through your hips again. Okay, put your legs in slowly and shaking your legs off. And back down again, let's try and do it again. See if we can go a little bit wider this time. That's it. Make sure you're in line, remember. You're all on this line, your hips and your heels, all on the same line. Just push out as wide as you can. Keep your feet facing forwards all the time. Take the weight off again, and then gradually let it push back through your hips. Don't forget to smile.